What is good, YouTube? Colin Beckford from the Scales Collective here today. I am here with Patrick, Mark, and Remy. And today we're going to go through our top five favorite 1A freestyles of 2019. Um, I'll go with my fifth place and then Patrick will do his and so on. So for my number five, I'm going to have to go with Dylan Ostrowski's New York States freestyle. Dylan is easily one of my favorite players in the newer generation. Um, he really just shows his full style on stage with extremely technical tricks, some super mind-bending slacks, and his zoning is also really good too. Um, if you watch his tricks, you'll notice he does a lot of tricks around his wrists, and he also has a lot of tricks where he sort of moves the yo-yo in the z-axis, I guess you could say, where it kind of moves 3D. And um, I don't know, I think he's definitely a competitor to look out for on stage if you want to see someone with super unique tricks. Yeah, man. So number five for me is also Dylan's New York. Uh, yeah, this guy just pulled up in Yo-Yo to the Grateful Dead, which definitely gets it on my radar screen. Uh, yeah, really awesome tricks as well. Like he he really just killed it. Dylan really impressed me this year with his his tricks and freestyle construction. And I think that uh, New York was sort of the culmination of that. And I'm really excited to see what he brings to the stage and Instagram next year. My fifth place freestyle goes to Luke Trotwine uh, for his winning PA States freestyle. This is definitely a very interesting freestyle from a two-minute perspective. And as we start to shift away from two minutes in 2020, uh, this freestyle kind of shows that he's really mastered the two-minute format. And there's definitely like just a formula that is coming into place. And it's kind of like making the two-minute format uh, a little dry. Uh, and it that's not to show that this freestyle isn't good, but it just goes to show that he's like really just pushing the boundaries of what can be done in two minutes. And it's just super impressive. He goes super clean. Uh, the freestyle is so good. It's so well scoring. Uh, yeah. I think my number five 1A freestyle from this year would have to be Iori Yamaki's World Semi. I love how kind of playful this routine is. He uses a, a Billie Eilish song and he just goes in and and he, he's clearly having so much fun on stage. It's it's it was really enjoyable to watch live, and I think it's equally enjoyable to keep on watching. My number four pick has to go to Kohei Nishimura's North Japan freestyle. That was Kohei's first contest to win, and I love this freestyle because um, although Kohei is kind of classified in the generic speed player, this freestyle was super entertaining. He had a lot of high difficulty tricks, some great horizontal elements. And um, overall, I think he did a great job at kind of, you know, having some moments in the freestyle where things were super fast paced and exciting, but also some slow technical parts as well. Overall, I think this freestyle really just showed that Kohei is a competitor to look out for. And I wouldn't be surprised if he would be a contender for Japan Nationals next year at this rate. Yeah, so, so coming in at fourth place for me is uh, Ayumu's uh, FYC freestyle. Uh, yeah, really cool trick set that Ayumu did in this freestyle. Uh, cool song as well. Just just a really like well-made routine. I think the tricks are uh, really awesome because they're fairly complex without being like overly dense, uh, which is a style of yo-yoing that I really like to see. And I, I really hope more people sort of take the same approach going into 2020. My uh, fourth place is also the same as Kenny's, the uh, Yumu Harada's FYC freestyle. I think that this freestyle is very interesting because as yoing or competitive yoing goes more towards a uh, like a meta standpoint in terms of like people trying to figure out different ways to win, uh, Yumu is kind of like just doing what he likes personally, and uh, I think the benefit of that is that he gets to go really clean because he enjoys yo-yoing and practicing and all this stuff and i think it's a very interesting approach and it's an interesting thing to watch uh his tricks are super interesting super creative and it stands out even more so in this current state of yo-yoing so my number four is michael curdy's va states freestyle i actually think this is kind of similar to a yumu's in that he's kind of just doing what he likes he's doing the tricks he's like he likes He's using a song he likes, and the vibe of the freestyle is very chill and laid back, but he just does some insane tricks. Um, it was really fun to watch, especially starting off the year, and and I think the crowd was, was really into it too, which left an impression on me. My number three 
of 2019 1A has to go to Hirotaka Akiba's AP freestyle. He had also used this freestyle to win Japan Nationals earlier in the year, um, but I believe the AP was a bit cleaner. What I really like about Hirotaka's routines are that he is extremely clean, perhaps the cleanest player on stage of the contest he competes at. And although he's super clean, his tricks are very, very technical and difficult. Um, he's probably easily the best chopsticks player on stage right now. And um, it's just cool to see someone who is so skilled at a certain facet of yoyoing that not many other people are skilled at go so clean and get successful results out of it. I really respect it. Yeah, so third place for me was actually uh, a member of this call. Wow. It's uh, Remy's Massachusetts State's routine. And yeah, Remy's, Remy's had one of my favorite routines the past two years, both at Massachusetts State's. Uh, yeah, I just think it shows how good Remy is at uh, two-minute routines. And this year in particular, I thought that the approach that he took was really cool. Uh, using an Angel Olsen song was really awesome and uh, doing all these really insane tricks to that song. I, I think it sort of showed that uh, you can sort of use more unique music and like still do somewhat extreme tricks in a really interesting freestyle. So yeah, props to Remy for doing a, a really cool freestyle at Massachusetts State. Bro, thank you, bro. My uh, third place is the same as Collins. It's uh, Hirotaka Akiba's, but uh the one he did at Japan Nationals instead of the AP. Uh, it's so great to see Hirotaka really just take a major contest uh, after he's been grinding for so long. He is just so like good at what he does now. He's really just honed into his craft of this kind of like tech plus chopsticks type of style. And for him to just kind of overcome any flaws that that kind of build has and just dominate, uh, especially at JN, is really impressive to see. So my number three would have to be Mark Mangaren's New York States freestyle. This was kind of crazy to me because I, I was with Mark the whole time before the contest, I was staying at his place, and I did not really see him practice. And then I saw him go the cleanest he had ever gone with this really remarkable, high-scoring, well-put-together routine. And it was just awesome to watch. I specifically love the wrist tricks and just the the overall aesthetic to it dude thanks <laughs> man you guys are the best my number two pick for my favorite 1a freestyle this year has to go to curdy's u.s nationals routine i feel like every year curdy's in u.s nationals freestyles he ends up having my favorite or one of my favorite freestyles and this year is definitely no exception um high energy cool music he used soldier boy he did some wild tricks on stage everyone was screaming like the room literally felt like it was shaking at the end of his freestyle to me it was a great freestyle and curdy's just awesome i think he really displays something great in competitive yo-yo where his freestyles are just wild i think that's the best way i can describe them where um it may look a little bit messy at times but he's really just doing insanely difficult tricks on stage and it's not easy to do that at all so i respect it a lot yeah, so second place for me was also Curdy's Nationals routine this year. Uh, yeah, just the most extreme routine of the year, for sure. I remember after after all the 1A finals were over, uh, Yoyo Factory Ben was talking to Gentry and asked, how'd you feel if you lost to Curdy? And Gentry's like, oh, well, what do you mean? And Ben's like, well, Curdy just like did all bangers and like hit all of them. <laughs> <laughs> like oh uh, well I, I don't know i guess like if i lost so that'd be fine and i don't know <laughs> Curry just really killed it with this one i don't really know what else to say. <laughs> uh my second place favorite freestyle for the year is uh another scales member who's not in the call it's uh kieran cooper's winning pnwr freestyle from early in the year uh i think it's a very interesting freestyle because he has been grinding to win regionals and bigger contests for a long time. And he has like issues with going clean and stuff like that. And this freestyle, you really just like hit everything perfect. It was so dominant of a performance. Uh, and it really kind of like stepped him up into this, like, I don't know, like level of yo yoing that he's in right now, which is like very amazing. So my number two from this year would have to be Jonas Ozana's EYYC semifinal. Um, this routine was just really amazing to me because I got to judge it and see it live uh, front row. And it was very it was very calm and collected. He has a really cool style, a lot of technical tricks. 
and he used a really cool song. It kind of all came together in this in this really nice, uh, elegant way, and it just it just earns that spot for me. My number one favorite freestyle in the one A this year has to go to Yuki Nishisako's World's Freestyle. Um, I think Yuki is a great yo-yo player because he stays true to himself on stage. He doesn't really sacrifice the tricks that he does for performance or anything along the lines of that. Um, but with that being said, he does have a very diverse play style. Yeah, Yuki's Worlds was also my favorite 1A freestyle this year. Uh, yeah, I just loved everything about it from the song to the tricks to uh, just who Yuki was on stage uh, being so similar to who he is off stage, uh, yeah, he he just really killed it, and uh, I really love watching Yuki Yoya live. So it was awesome to be able to see him do a freestyle like that. Uh, my favorite freestyle of the year was a, a, actually another skills member who's not on the call, uh, Nate Daly's fourth place world's freestyle uh, from this year, and there was just an unmatched amount of energy that happened during this freestyle he really just hit everything so clean and it was just so uh impressive the energy was so high as like nothing i've ever seen before uh since like evans winning nationals routine uh and just the way that nate goes about his tricks and his freestyles um it kind of makes yo-yoing fun you know it's it it goes to show that yo-yoing is about having fun and it doesn't have to be just about winning contests so my number one freestyle from 2019 has to be Tony's EYYC routine. He got fourth place, but he did a routine full of super technical original combos, a ton of difficult regens and and crazy tricks. Uh, I watched this routine live, and I I really had a f- I had this like feeling sitting down watching it that I really don't get watching anyone else. It was it was pretty amazing. So shout out to Tony, shout out to Scales. Yeah, so those are our personal picks for our top five favorite one in freestyles of the year. Let us know who you liked in the comments below and check out our other videos on our channel. Thanks for checking out this one and we will see you in the future.